This is by far the best possible accessible team you can use for the new Pirate King Adventures vs the CP0 for levels 1 up until 99, so 80 plus. It is fully free to play and let me explain how it exactly works. The 6 plus Arlong crew is our very important captain and they reduce our HP right now because we don't have all of the colors in the crew. That is exactly why we want our friend captain Sugar and the Flamingo, the new legend, to enter on Sugar. That way we can lose some HP and make our strategy with our MVP unit Pirating Adventure Sanji function properly. By the way, his double special activation is maxed out and I also have Story Vivi support on him to guarantee him a matching slot in the final stage. Then we have 5 plus Pirating Adventures Newgate, 5 plus Pirating Adventures Kobe, who needs to be in the left column, and of course the free to play unit Kid and Lock. Every color will be on the crew once we swap Sugar to the Flamingo so the Arlong crew can give us their full attack boost. No level limit break needed by the way on them, the only thing you need to do in the first two stages, because they reduce their super swap meter, swap them once in stage 1 to help you clear, and once in stage 2, for the same reason to also gather swaps for the super swap which we want to do in stage 4. The reason we don't want to be maximum HP is essentially so we can activate Sanji in stage 4 to help Newgate regain his special, and then we can activate Newgate to drop our HP under 50% guaranteed, and then we can activate Sanji again for him to remove paralysis because we have less than 50% HP. In case you don't even want to think about your HP and you also want to use a sip that doesn't make perfects easier to hit because we don't want to hit perfects in the final stage, you can use the Moby Dick at the base level 10 instead of the Whale Sharks. Entering stage number 3, we want Kobe in the left column so he evades the bind and then alongside sockets we activate him and he can completely remove the bind, despair, give everyone their specials back and provide us with a change. After that we swap both of our captains, the Arlon crew provides a base attack boost and Doflamingo with Sugar apply increased damage taken. We have a Q unit as well now with Doflamingo so we get the maximum attack boost from the Arlon crew and by attacking in this order starting with Newgate, the Arlon crew, then Kid Law, Kobe, ending on Sanji, we can also maintain the matching slot on the Flamingo, which will of course guarantee him a matching slot in stage number 4 which is needed for maximum damage. It is highly possible that Sanji can provide him with one, but in order to be 100% safe I would advise you to also follow this strategy. In stage 4, we are going to activate Sanji first, we can resist the special rewind and because we have over 50% HP, he will help everyone regain their specials. Now it's time to activate Newgate. He will reduce our HP by 50%, dropping us to under 50%, give us chain boundaries, remove the enemy barrier and free the Flamingo from stun. Now we can activate Sanji again and because we have less than 50% HP, he will free our units from paralysis. Then we super swap the Arlon crew and activate their special for a base attack boost and a buffed attack boost for everyone. And now we are ready to attack, starting from the mobs in this order to do as much damage as possible. Newgate and the Arlong crew, Hidden Law, Kobe, Sanji and then the Flamingo. That way we get maximum damage and we can maximize the damage coming from the Doflamingo special in the final stage. That is also the reason we don't attack based on color advantage versus the CP0, so the Flamingo versus the Strength HP bar, Sanji versus the Psy one because the Doflamingo attack is highly likely to completely defeat the CP0, which overall will provide us less damage. In the final stage now, Sanji gets a guaranteed matching slot even if you missed your perfect because of Story Vivi. The burn here is a huge problem because it doesn't apply at the end of the turn, but after it's perfect, so we don't want to hit any. First up, we activate Kid and Law for their end of turn damage to help us ignore resilience, and then the Flamingo. He will damage the enemies, defeat the mobs, therefore remove threshold, provide a color of energy boost and remove the CP0 barrier. Because of the Sanji activation in the previous stage, Sanji has an attack boost and an orb boost specifically for him, a guaranteed matching slot and color advantage, so we attack, hit a great with him and super easily clear the quest. 
If you are worried that you might hit a perfect because of the whale shark's ability, you can change your ship for something that doesn't make perfects easier to hit. And in case you want to attack with more units for more damage, prior to the Sanji attack of course, you can do it, just make sure you hit greats with them as well. And that was my best accessible and fully free to play team for the new pirating adventures up until level 99. Hopefully it helped you out. And as always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.